right there. Look at that bastard. Ha <laughs> sucker. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map. This is made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Okay, so I'm making some ammo, as you can see here. Not a ton, uh, but enough to, you know, kind of replenish a little bit of what we had before. I managed to mine up around 2,500 or so nitrate and a few hundred more lead. But then I ran out of gasoline for the auger. I don't really want to do it by hand because when you do it by hand, it really jacks up, you know, your stamina cap and then you have to consume more food and that sort of thing. So what we really need to do right now is we need to find a wrench because then I can wrench some cars um, and get gas that way until we're ready to actually start traveling again and find the desert to buy them. Which, which you know, that's a little ways out yet. We're not quite ready to do that yet. So the plan for uh, today's episode is we're going to work our way south and um, do here. That's what I want. We're going to do this quest here. It's a tier one clear. And we're also looking for wrenches. There's also a uh, right here. This is a uh, what's it called? What you call it? Uh, working stiff. Yeah, it's a working stiff tool store. So we, <clears throat> depending upon how our time goes, we might go ahead and try and uh, loot that place too because we'll have a chance of finding a wrench in there. So that is the plan for today's episode. So once this um, ammunition is finished, so I got about three and a half minutes left, I'll grab it and then I'll head down there. And when we get down uh, to the uh, the place here, uh, we'll I'll, I'll bring you guys back and then we will go from there. Okay, so I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, guys, we are at our quest location. It's the yellow. Oh, shit. Mobile home place over there. Uh, that was kind of close. <laughs> Look at Larry go up on the roof there. What a guy. Okay, um, just keep an eye on him. But anyway, yeah, it's the yellow place there that we need to go to. So let's see if we can sneak over there without attracting Larry's attention. Or anybody else's for that matter. There's another Larry over there. <sighs> that guy is all over the place, man. I'll tell you what, all over the place. I'd like to maybe try and double loot this place too because um, the... The good stuff's in the kitchen, which I th think is right on that side of the building, if I remember right. But I don't want a bunch of Larrys around whilst we're doing that, is the thing. So, how about if we... You know what? This is the building, if I remember right, they can get up to the roof on too <sighs> yeah I believe they can get up onto the roof from over that direction because when we do the quest legit, we're, we're going to actually come up that way. But while we do our double loot, I don't want that occurring. Let's get this out. Because I'm pretty sure there's a buzzard. Maybe on the other side of that uh, vent there. Right there, look at that bastard. Ha 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 sucker. Now, um there might be another one up here too, now that I think about it. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. I think we're in good shape as far as buzzards go. Oh, you know what? That damn trash, they could stand on that and jump over, couldn't they? <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Okay. Okay, I think we're secure now to double loot the place. What do we have in here? Okay, take some acid. So, this place has, at least in the past anyway, had military guys in it. So, that will be interesting. Oh, shit. That was timely. <laughs> that was really timely. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that block, obviously. All right, I'm going to eat this now, and I'm going to drink this now just to get our stamina and health and all that back uh, in tip-top shape. And we're not even going to take this back with us for now. Um, we might need some health cap, too, so let's just take one of these to make sure our cap is maxed out. Excellent. Okay. Good news is we managed to do that without firing any shots, which saves our ammo and doesn't wake up the whole frickin' neighborhood. So we've got a, a weapons bag and a chest in here, and some other stuff too. What we really want to find is a wrench. Um, there are some... There's a dude right there. Uh, there are there's a bookcase and there are some washing machines in here too, which could have a puffer jacket. Oh, nice chili. We're saving that because we can make chili dogs. So, okay, well let's go ahead and loot first, and then, I mean, we have a bookcase and we have a chance for a puffer coat, so it might be worth a, worth it for us to go all the way in and get those things too, as a part of our double looting. But let's do check the good stuff first. What do we have in here? Um, the ammunition's great. This stuff, not super great. So we're gonna... Uh, I don't want the scrap, and I don't want to have to haul it back. So we're not doing anything with that. These, we're gonna scrap and either sell... Oh, no, not repair. Uh, either sell or keep the, the parts uh, for later on. Normally I'd keep this, but again, we've, we've got to be really careful about how much stuff we get, because we're going to be so encumbered, and we're still going to have to do a drop chest anyway. All right, let's check the big chest. Um, okay. Same plan with this. Well, actually, we need to compare it first, because it could be better than what we have. Let's take the mod off of here. It is not. It's inferior to what we have. Okay. So we'll put the duck bill back on here. And we're going to scrap this because it's worth more as parts than it is whole. Now, can we make use of this? Oh, um... Yeah, that's just a little bit worse than our our steel armor. However, it does have two slots. And it's only one point where it, well, it's, it's three points worth effect resistance wise. All right, let's modify this and we'll put the fittings on there and that will give us 2% uh, more mobility. So that's nice. I already have the, the wood chopper mod on my axe. We could probably put it on here just to increase the overall uh, block damage. Right now it's 56, and now it's 62. And then, of course, we can't put this on a sawed-off. We have to put that on a normal pump shotgun. That would be worth taking back and selling. 
Okay, so that takes care of the, the big loots. Now, um, I'm just going to quickly go through all of these cabinets and the other stuff and see if we can find ourselves a wrench. I wish I had my spear back with me so I could throw it, but I just don't have the inventory space right now to carry everything under the sun. Okay, so we dealt with him. Um, let's let's go ahead and move further in. Oh, that's just an easy. That's not just an easy. That guy's must be at the door here. Oh, that's just an easy two. Okay. I'm not too terribly worried about him at the moment. Uh, let's loot these bookcases. All right. Targets with full health tank, 20% more damage. Shotgun Messiah. Very nice. Oh, man, that's going to help. That's going to help a lot. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, paper. You know what? I'm not going to take that. Not right now. Just don't have the space. Okay, so here are the washing machines I wanted to check. We already have one of those. I don't need another one. Come on, puffer jacket. Okay, we already have BDUs. And that gives an automatic cold resist, but we're already wearing the cowboy hat mod on here. So, um... Normally I would take this, but we don't have the space. And really, the same thing for the... Oh, this has one more cold resist. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, let's switch them out then. We'll take those. I'm not going to take those. All right. Um, there's a bathroom back there and another sleeper. There's a bedroom and a bathroom in there. I suppose there's a chance that we could find... A wrench. Oh, another bookcase, too. Okay, good. Uh, more paper? Nah, don't got it. Okay, there's usually a sleeper in here. Did Easy finally break in the house here? Okay, how about some bandages? Ooh, that's pretty good stuff. We can actually use that. Uh, we can use those uh, thingamadoodles. Uh, we're not scrapping iron. For, uh, what, what the hell am I trying to say? My mind is, like, scattered-brained. That's not as good as what we have. Uh, what, how much does that sell for? Nah, not worth taking. Uh, nah, I'm gonna leave those. Okay, anyway, what I was saying was... We're going to use the... Steroids... Uh, on the trip back uh, to remove all our encumbrance. Okay, let's just check the bathroom. Uh, whoa! The hell? Uh, the bathroom sink. 
Oh, we've got a dresser here too, so. Um, this has plus three cold resist. So we'd be giving up 13 armor. Oh no, this has seven armor and three more cold resist. So do we want to give up six armor rating for three more cold resist? I don't think we do. I mean, we're not doing too bad with the cold now. We're not doing too bad with the cold, so I don't think we're going to do that. Okay, come on, pipe wrench. Uh, damn it. I'd like to take that coffee, but again, I just think we can afford to take up the slot for that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start the quest for realsies. He keeps hitting the barber. Well, let's kill this guy, just in case he does get out, because... What the hell? Hacks. That's bullshit. <laughs> he shouldn't have been able to hit me from that far away. Uh, Alright. Uh, anything else we can loot before we start this thing for realsies? Is that fridge up there lootable? Or the desk? Doesn't appear like it is. Pick the brass. Um, Alright. We're also going to need a drop chest. I think... I think... Ooh, there's a shoddy messiah. Okay. So let's put the drop chest a little ways away from here so, it doesn't, we, so we don't reset it on accident. way I'm gonna keep that because we have that vitamin and we can now uh, use that all right come here you bastard no no come here okay. well, it takes care of him Okay, and then we're supposed to come this way and drop down on the bed. That door is open. There's a satchel. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Where is my crossbow? Come on, wrench! <laughs> Damn it! Not taking that. We will take those, but we're not going to take the gunpowder. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's just eat that right now, because we do need a little bit of health there. Um, and we'll take that, too, just to make sure our cap's all the way up. I think that does it for in here. Getting dark. All right. Uh, let's make a little noise. Oh, he's got the washing machine is in the way. Man, did he destroy the, the basket? I think he did. Dog on it. 
All right. I think there might be a, an easy there too. Not sure if we can get to him that way. Okay, well, we'll have to take easy out a different way anyway, because we can't can't really hit him very well with this in the way. Oh, geez, Louise, it's dark. Okay. Um, so we're going to have dudes in there that we're going to have to watch out for. Ah, it's too bad we lost that, uh, that, um, laundry basket. Okay, I think the way I want to handle this is we're going to make a shitload of noise. And then we're going to run back in here, close this door, and then put a frame down. So let's get that upgraded. And uh, we need some light, too. It is so dark right now. So let's put a light here. And we'll put one up there for the time being. Okay, so everybody good on what our plan is? <laughs> like, who are you talking to, old guy? It's just you. Uh, all right. So I want to aggro the military guy and the... Nice. Oh. Very nice. Uh, the military guy and the, the infected dude that's in there. And then we'll quickly run back into that room. Here, we might as well loot this while we can. 20% greater chance of knocking down the target with uh, successful sneak attacks. We'll take that. I'm pretty sure they're breaking through the front door. It really sounds like it. So let's just wait here for a second. Come on, man. Hurry up. We don't have all day. I thought that was you, Edgar. Sounded like you. That should theoretically clean out all the Zekers in here. <laughs> theoretically. Okay, let's check the the big stuff first. 
how much is that worth? 80? I'm not taking either one of those back. I don't have the room for it. It's not worth that much money. Okay. That is some decent stuff. How much does that sell for? 54? It's not as good as what we're wearing. I think I'm going to leave that there. What about this, though? This is not as good as what we're wearing either. Oh, we already have a yellow one. Okay. Um, but that's probably worth taking back and selling, especially if we fix it up. This weighted head mod we're going to put on our uh, sledge. So what does that do? It's currently at 41 melee, and now it, it and 80 power. Now it's 44 melee and 83 power. Okay, beautiful. And yeah, that's worth, worth some money. Let's check the junk turret, too. Oops. This is our current junk turret, and this one is not significantly better. In fact, it's worse damage-wise. So we're going to scrap that, and we'll take the parts back and sell those. It's worth 90. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Nope, I'm not going to do it. If we were closer to home, I would. All right, guys. Well, I think we're out of time for this episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to check all the cupboards here. And... Oh, nice. Uh, see if we can actually find some freaking... A freaking pipe wrench. Pipe wrench. I don't know why I've had so much trouble finding a pipe wrench. I usually don't have any trouble. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to hop over to the tool store, especially if I don't find a pipe wrench. And we're going to raid that, and we'll start the next episode uh, at that point. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.